Okay, hello everybody, this is Dr. Novak. You're probably wondering, why do I need a lid? Well, here's a good example. Here's a snail that actually crawled out of my aquarium. It uh, fell out, hit the cobblestone, and cracked. Within about two days, here it is dead. Now, of course, you don't have to worry about snails crawling out and falling on a carpeting, but if you have a tile floor or a hard floor, wood floor, this is what can happen. So, basically, this is to show you how to make an inexpensive lid for your aquarium. Now, what we're looking at here is what is called a parabolic louver, otherwise known as an egg crate. You can buy these at any hardware store. They are used to put into drop ceilings and then a light goes behind them and cosmetically makes things look good. The reason it's a parabolic luber is because it's tapered. Each outlet is tapered so the light reflects and refracts off of the tapered and it's supposed to help distribute the light evenly. So these what I bought here cost $19 and it was four foot by two foot and it's very easy to trim it's made out of uh, plastic. Now compared to the plastic from days of yore this one's a lot easier to cut. Another thing of it is as you can see the bubbles on top of the louver parabolic louver here. If this was glass, those bubbles would be popping on the glass and over time if you have water that has uh, high calcium in it, that would start uh, making a calcium deposit on your lid and you couldn't uh, see into it or it would hinder the light trying to come through is what I'm saying. And if that ever happens you would have to then try to get uh, a razor blade with some vinegar to try to clean it and it's a big hassle. With something like this you don't have to worry about. Now you can buy lids that have plastic. There's a feeder that goes connects onto the plastic and you buy uh, the plastic and you buy the frame and they usually sell them. They're not inexpensive. They're over $80, $90, maybe even more you'll spend. And what happens is that's extruded aluminum and they give you like four corners. You put it together, you put the plastic in it just like you would a screen window. The only problem with it is you can have a tendency to rip it. Then what if you need to do specialty corners? Then you're going to have to buy more plastic plus the fact the aluminum, you have to have a saw to cut it. Make sure you cut it square. And it's not easy. For someone who who uh, maybe doesn't have a miter saw and you'll have to buy a hand one, it's not easy to cut than if you have an electric miter saw. Then you have to have a special blade so you don't dull your blade because it's a aluminum, extruded aluminum. Versus this plastic parabolic louver that we can use to cut specialty cuts very easily and that's what I like about it is that you can cut specialty cuts and I'll show you exactly what I mean that you see these specialty cuts here now it's cut around this uh, bubbled suppressor that I made of course if you had a piece of glass you wouldn't need this bubble suppressor but a piece of glass basically you're only going to have the back of the aquarium to put all your hoses. But look, if you want to put your hoses on the side of the aquarium, now you can cut it and trim it just for your hoses. And I try to cut it as close as I can so to keep the snails from trying to come out. But that's the one good thing about using a parabolic louver. You can cut it on angles. You can do whatever you want with it uh, to make clearance for your lights, feeders, where glass you can't or you would have to have the glass cut by a specialist to your dimensions and then that's going to be real expensive. So I found this to be the cheapest way of doing it 
of covering the aquarium, also allowing the light to get through, and how it uh, it's cosmetically not bad. You can also spray paint these. If you don't like the white, you can spray paint it black, or flat black, or something like that, if, if you don't like the way the white is. You can also pay, spray it with silver, you know, if you want that. But the, it's made in white because white reflects light better than other colors. So that's why. I think, though, they do come in silver, but uh, I'm not 100% positive. But as you see, the fit and finish is real nice for this rim aquarium. You can use them on rimless aquarium. But here I've cut it out for the feeder. I cut it out for the light. So... And it's very easy to do. And that's what this video is going to be about. If you've never done it before, I'm going to show you how you can trim this so you can make a nice fitting parabolic louver lid. Like I said, it was only $19. The rest of it is work from you. And the detail work is all depends on you, how much detail work you want to put into the lid. Okay, so tools you're going to need. You're going to need a wire cutters. This is a small set of wire cutters. They're cobalt. They're, I've had them for quite a while. You buy them at Lowe's. But uh, they are, these are what they call flush wire cutters. Okay, and uh, let me get this in focus. But they cut pretty flush to the surface. And that's what I use to cut it, to trim it. Next thing you're going to need is you're going to need a pen. I just use a Sharpie. You're going to need a fine sanding block. This is a 3M sanding block. Maybe you'll need a file in case you have to do small detail work of cutouts. And you're going to need either a sander or a sanding block or sandpaper of some sort. Using an electric sander makes the job go a lot quicker and easier. So I'm going to show you how I cut it and trim it. I understand that a lot of people know how to do it, but I'm going to show you how to do it in this video. And it's really not as hard as you think, but I understand some people have never done it before and they would just like to see how it's done. So when they do it, they don't screw it up. But you get a piece of plastic like this. This is a, a piece of scrap that I have left over and I'll show you what I have to do to cut it. And you use the trimmers to actually cut the plastic. So it's it's not hard or it's not rocket science or anything else. Okay, so I'll take this piece of plastic. You see where the little black marks are? Those are where I marked it, where that's where I'm going to make my cuts with the wire cutters. And I'll show you how to do it. Basically, you just put the wire cutters in there and snap off the plastic. It's pretty easy, no problems at all. And the old plastic, sometimes if you cut it, it, it would break the parabolic louver. But the new ones with the plastic they're using, I notice, is a little different. And now I'll show you uh, what I do when I cut a whole bunch of them and make it look nice. Now you can leave it like this if you want. You know, there's a little nub on there. You can trim it off. No one says you have to sand it. That's entirely up to you how far you want to go to make it look nice. Okay, so here what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to trim this piece off so you can get an idea that you just trim them off. It's nothing hard. And then I try to trim it as close as I can with the wire cutters before I sand. Like I said, sanding is optional. I like doing it so you don't cut yourself. It is a little rough on that edge just using the wire cutters. So this is the time where I like to grab the sander and uh, trim those down as best I can using the sander. <laughs> Okay, once it's been sanded, you got a nice smooth finish there. 
Then I like to finish it off with the fine uh, 3M extra fine. This is a uh, sponge sanding block, as they call it. You can buy them at any of the hardware stores. I sand it. I break the edges, as you can see. I do the edges so everything's nice and smooth. It, it, then it's not rough, and when you handle it, you're not going to cut yourself or anything else. And that's basically it. You have a real nice smooth edge to fit on top. And remember, this will fit on a rim aquarium that has a rim or just an all glass aquarium that you could make it so to fit on top of it. And, you know, think of some means. Uh, the, the only thing you'd maybe use the uh, uh, file for is if you have to get in tight corners or something like that and you want to file down the little nibs. Other than that, that's basically it. It's very easy to do. If you've never done it before, don't be intimidated by it. And I will show you something else because some people will say, well, what if it cuts back on the lighting that I want? Well, for me, I use the Ultra Bright GE light bulbs, as I showed you in some of my past videos. And the good thing about these light bulbs, if you feel that it has cut back on some of your lighting. Uh, this is 150 watt. They have 100 watt. They have 200 watt, uh, 300 watt, and 600 watt. Each one gives you more luminous output. So let's let's say, for example, if you were only using a 100 watt one, then you'd go up to the 150 watt. If if you thought it was cutting back on your light, I myself don't care, but. Uh, because of the different wattages that you may feel you want, want something a little brighter if you put the top on. And don't forget these tops will fit a 5 gallon all the way up to, you know, 125 gallon or whatever you have. So basically, that's it for this video. Just a little something to show you how to make a simple, easy lid for your aquarium. So until next time, this is Dr. Novak. I want to thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. And believe me, it works.